Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This video demonstrates how to install the LMS or Learning Management System Moodle into a personal Ubuntu LAMP server in VirtualBox. A personal server will allow someone to become familiar with Moodle but is not designed for produ production environment. A production environment actually allows for many students to safely log in at one time into the LMS. Before installing Moodle, there are certain requirements that have to be met. One is that the Moodle server have enough memory. One gigabyte should be enough, but you might be able to get by with only 768 megabytes. Total hardware memory should always be greater than or equal to required host operating system memory plus the required guest operating system memory. Checking this server shows that it only has 512 megabytes of base memory. So it's necessary to change base memory to 1024 megabytes, otherwise known as 1 gigabyte of memory. To do this, we click on System, Base Memory, 512 megabytes, type in 1024. That will give us 1 gigabyte of memory, which should be enough to run Moodle. Click OK. Additional requirements for this Moodle install include an Apache web server and a MySQL database. If you have installed an Ubuntu LAMP server, then this meets those requirements. See a previous video at the Baba Rainer channel on how to install an Ubuntu LAMP server if needed. Also requires a PHP environment. Prior to installing Moodle, this video will demonstrate how to install and check your PHP environment. Finally, since this will be a personal Moodle server, you should also have at least a minimal desktop with a browser installed on your Ubuntu server. A production Moodle server normally would not have a desktop environment, but having a desktop makes things easier when using Moodle on a machine that does not have a static IP address. See a previous video at the Baba Rainer channel for more information on installing a desktop in your Ubuntu server if needed. So to clarify, this video will have five parts. One, requirements check, which is the section we are in now. Two, install and check PHP. Three, configure a MySQL database for Moodle's usage. Four, download and unpack Moodle. And five, use a Moodle installer script to complete the Moodle install. So let's get started and move on to the PHP install by clicking start. Now that the requirements check has been completed, let's start our VM and log in. This section, in this section, we're going to install PHP and verify that it's uh, installed correctly or that it, that's actually working. And the password. To install PHP, we're going to, before we do any installation, let's get our updates and make sure that everything is updated. In order to do this, we're going to accessories, terminal, and we'll do a sudo apt get get update, which will get us our list of update uh, files. Once your server has these, we're going to upgrade. Actually, app get upgrade. And this is going to take a little while. So do you ask if you want to continue, just simply type in the uh, Y and then hit enter. And this will take us uh, a few minutes. We'll come back when it's almost uh, finished with the update. 
Now that our upgrade has been completed, we're going to install our PHP packages. Sudo apt get install PHP 5. PHP 5 my SQL. PHP 5 curl. PHP 5 XML RPC PHP five UTL PHP five G D. It's going to ask if you keyed everything in correctly, it's going to ask if you want to continue, you simply say yes. Uh, these packages uh, are graphics, networking, internationalization, uh, database support packages, and it just takes a few minutes to install them. So now, let's go check our installation. To do this, we're going to go to the uh, CD VA, VAR www directory which is where uh, your web pages are actually going to be shown from and we're going to use the nano text editor to create a new file nano php info dot php and there's nothing in this file so we're just going to make a simple php file call a function php info close this file and simply write it out control x say modify buffering just put in a y so that will have the so the file is there so now let's check our file do this we'll go to applications internet firefox web browser it starts and http local host it works that means the apache web server is working now let's go take a look at PHP is working. PHP info. Not PHP is the name of the file that we created. And here it shows that we have Ubuntu version, I'm sorry, a PHP version 5.3, which is required for uh, Moodle 2.1. And that's pretty much it for uh, this section. Next session that we're going to go into is how to. Uh, configure your MySQL database. Thank you. You should have finished your PHP install and are ready to configure your MySQL database. So let's close the browser, go to our applications, and we'll open up a terminal window. And let's start MySQL. To do that, key in my SQL dash U for user root dash P for password hit enter S for your password that you should have set when you first installed your Ubuntu LAMP server hit enter of course you have to make sure that you type it in correctly in this case I will hit the up arrow so I don't have to retype that in again and then I will try key in, in my password, which is correct this time. Then the MySQL, now you're in the MySQL uh, program, and so we're going to uh, set up a Moodle database. To create the database, we'll use the commands create data base Moodle leave default 
character set UTF-8 and with a semicolon. Now you notice that I, I the database commands I used all capital letters. Uh, this is a MySQL is not uh, capital sensitive, but a lot of times for database, uh, this is a common uh, way to do this. You notice that it says query OK. If not, I would have to hit the up arrow and then rekey in my command and do it correctly. And this next command is grant all privileges. on noodle dot star to moodle noodle user at local Forgetting my uh, local host identified my Moodle password. Now, you will have to uh, keep track of this Moodle user because you're going to be setting the a Moodle database at some later point, and you'll have to also keep track of this password. You may want to use your own password here instead of the one I'm keying in. Hit enter. Query OK. Since query is OK, next we key in flush. Privil semicolon. What this is for is to allow the grant all, the grant table to uh, reload and get the data that you've just put in. Hit enter. Query OK. So let's just check and make sure that everything's OK here. So by asking MySQL to show databases, and we should see a Moodle in here. And database, we have the information schema, Moodle, and MySQL. Now, let's just quit. And we've set up our Moodle database. So, the next section is to download Moodle and unpack it. In this section, we're going to download and unpack Moodle. To do that, we'll go to Applications, Internet, and grab a hold of Firefox web browser. And we'll go to, go to the Moodle download page, which is at download, spell it correctly, download.moodle.org. And we're going to grab the TGZ or compressed tarball file, the latest official update of Moodle 2.1. Simply click download. And it will start in one second. And we need to keep track of this in file name, Moodle 2.1.2.tgz. And you need to uh, basically uh, make sure that you have that file name because you're going to be using it later. We're going to save file and click OK. If you are a slow server, it may take some minutes. If you're at a faster server, it'll go a lot faster. We'll come back when this is finished. Once the file is downloaded and we have the file name, we're just going to click this and close and go back to the command line. And in this case, we're going to 
change our directory to cdvar www, which is where we're going to store Noodle. And now we're going to unpack the tarball by going sudo tar dash xvf tilde takes us back to our home directory downloads directory word and now the file name that we should have uh, made note of 2.1.2.tgz and what this will do is download this file or unpack this file into the www directory uh, the v in this uh, instance will simply mean verbose which means that you won't see a lot of uh, text as it gets downloaded and installed in that directory. So I'm going to ask for your password and if you don't type it in. Okay, if you notice I made a mistake there. I misspelled downloads. So I'm going to hit the up arrow and correct my mistake and then hit enter. And now the verbose is sending all that text across the screen. And now if you do a ls you'll see a Moodle directory there and if you go into the Moodle directory you'll see that it's full of files. Now we're going to have to also create a directory to hold our Moodle data and make its owner the web server. To do this we go to cd var and then sudo make directory Moodle data and make the owner of this directory Moodle data the web server. Dash R for recursive www data www data Moodle and we'll see we've got a Moodle data directory there. And just to make sure, well, let's restart the Apache web server uh, that make sure it doesn't require restart. So we're going to say sudo service Apache to restart. And it restarts. So now the only step left is to use a Moodle installer script to finish the installation and that will be the final section. This final section completes the install of Moodle by using the Moodle install script. From your desktop start your browser, Applications, Internet, Firefox Web Browser. Then go to HTTP local host Moodle. Our installer script starts and asks you to choose a language. In this case, we're going to choose English and click on Next. Confirm pass. We're going to increase the size of our browser here so we can see more of it at one time. Localhost Moodle, this is what we have up here. The Moodle directory, this is where we install Moodle and put it down. Data directory, var Moodle, Moodle data, this is where we created a data directory for Moodle in the last section. Click next. Moodle supports several types of database servers. Please contact server administrator if you do not know which type to use. In this case, we're 
using improved MySQL, native MySQL I. I'll just simply add, there are some other choices here, but this is what's on this copy of Ubuntu. Click Next. We need to configure the database where most Moodle data will be stored. Database may be created if database user has needed permissions, username and password must already exist. Then when we created the Moodle database, we had a uh, created a username and a password. So the username we used was Moodle user, and the password we used was Moodle underscore A S S W R D. Click next, and here at this screen we see a lot of red. Basically, the reason for this is we were unable to create a config PHP file because we didn't have permission to write in the Moodle directory. Uh, in order to solve this problem, and since we are working with the browser, we simply copy this file, making sure we don't get any extra white space. Right click, copy, minimize. Go back to our terminal window, and we're going to change the directory to barwwmoodlecd www.cd moodle. So here we are in this directory. Now we're going to create a file sudo nano config.php. This will be an empty file with nothing in it. But we've got what we copy, paste in here, for some reason, yeah, everything is in here, just checking. Save this file, control X, and ask that you save your modified bus buffer, type in Y for yes, hit enter, and so this is saved. Now let's go back to our file here, click next, and since it's written, it's in the directory now. We're continue with the installation and so now we read the copyright notice and if you read these conditions and you click continue now we'll check just all your server settings server checks and make sure that they're all green and okay and everything should be okay if we've done everything right before so we click continue here and the system will trundle for a while and you're going to see some uh, system installations and should see some green completes or green successes and this is populating the uh, database your Moodle database It's going to take a minute or two if everything comes up success and there's no reason why it shouldn't. Click continue. And the next screen is where we have our first user. Now it's always a good idea to change the username away from admin. I had one uh, little database where it kept getting hit by uh, someone trying to log in as admin, trying to hack into it. So it's always a good idea to change the username away from admin. In this case, I'm just going to use my first name, Mike. Tab, tab, tab. Enter a password. Of course, it's going to ask that it has one digit, at least one lowercase letter. 
at least one uppercase letter and at least one non-alpha numeric character. Let me go back because I forgot exactly where I was in entering the password. And if you've done that, then you should accept that. Put in my name and my email address. And keep continuing down. You have to fill in your town and your country. Pretty much the rest of it is uh, optional. At this point, I'm just filling out the minimum to uh, because this is just install. Click update profile. And we'll give it a site name here. My personal Moodle MPM. I'll leave the front page description up to you. Click Save Changes. So now we're in a Moodle, and uh, so let's just go to Site Administration and. Uh, go in and just change a the theme. That would be appearance. Let's go down to where, uh, where we go to. Lost that. Just accept the default here. Save changes. And click on themes. Theme selector. And here we get to select a theme for our site. And I'm just going to select the first one here, but you can select any one that clicks Use Theme. And so this is what our site looks like. Go to Home. And, this is, and that's pretty much it for uh, installing Moodle on Ubuntu as a personal copy for you to play with and, and learn the Moodle system. Thank you. I hope this was uh, worth your time for watching this.